Hello everyone and welcome to Battle School. This is your host, Rank Up. In this video series I'll be talking about different strategies and tactics you can use to help improve your game and help your team win. First on the list, how to revive a down teammate. Make sure you scout the area and take out any bad guys before getting the revive in. And please don't forget to lay down a med pack. Countless times I see people running in there with blinders on trying to get revive after revive after revive. And Although this is good, you want to revive teammates, you got to be a little bit more tactical and make sure that the area is cleared before getting that revive in. The next thing I want to talk about is preemptively laying down med packs. I don't see this enough in Battlefield 4, and honestly, it helps out your teammates and yourself more than you think. If you take fire and you got a med pack at your side, not only do you have a better chance at killing the enemy, but you help out your teammates in the process. Now, if you ever sense danger in a firefight, just take cover and peek accordingly and take them out quickly. Never stay in one place too long and remember to use cover tactically. This isn't Call of Duty, you can't run and gun, and camping is frowned upon. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is strategies as far as domination goes. Now, if you take a look at the ticket count, I believe we're down, what is it, by 20 or 25 tickets or so, and it's a pretty close game. Now, the thing you have to keep in mind when playing a capture game like Domination, if you don't have two or three objectives, you're going to lose. Even if you have guys who are slaying the enemies, you, st you still can lose due to the ticket bleed. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you have uh, less than two objectives, the enemy will start to deplete your tickets or death count. Uh, you only have, I think, 200, 300 for domination, and it can go pretty quickly if they hold all the objectives. So make sure that you have two. In this case, we have Alpha and Bravo. And this is a pretty good place to kind of, I wouldn't say camp, but strategically hold the ground between Alpha and Bravo on that Skyway. But I kind of get greedy and a little aggressive, to be honest, and I want to push to Charlie. I'm out of ammo because I'm using my FAMAS, and that thing has a high rate of fire, and you go through ammo like none other. So, what I gotta do is kinda let, you know, my teammates push up and I'll take this little kit here. Luckily it's an M416. Like, I, I do like this gun, but I do like other assault rifles over it, but that's for another video. So, make sure you kinda scout the area, take them out, and heal up if you can. If, you ever, if you're ever below 50, I recommend throwing down a med pack, and even if you're below 75 really, cause people can get the drop on you if you're low on health, and that's just gonna get you killed quick want to stay alive. I know people say KD doesn't matter, but to some degree it does. Um, especially in a ticket-based game like Domination, where tickets can be the deciding factor if you win or lose. And that's what it's all about, folks. If you have fun winning, if you like to win, then you got to stay alive as, as much as you can. And it is, it's tough. If you don't have a good squad, I mean, people don't revive you and such, yeah, it gets frustrating. But if you get a good squad and got comms going, it is a lot of fun. And Domination is probably one of the more competitive type game modes as far as like, you know, if you have two good squads, you can dominate, you know, so it's it's definitely taking me a little bit getting used to with big 64 player servers and I, I'm not showcasing that now, but Domination is still quite a, quite a good game mode for Battlefield and yeah, it's part of Call of Duty too, but they're so different in terms of like strategies, there's a lot more like team play, you can revive, and I'll do more videos on how to be a better assault or a better medic in another video. If you, if you all want to see that, just let me know in the comments below. But that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you do have any questions about what type of setup I'm using or, you know, what... I did just unlock the FAMAS in this video, so there's really not much to it there. I had iron sights, and that's about it. But... If you like the video, please subscribe, like, and that's it. Rank up, signing out.